What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, man, it is time, boys. It is time for me to join the majority of you guys who currently have Psylocke. So for this one, we're going to be unlocking her, building her, and testing her out a little bit, man, because you guys already know I love me some Psylocke. And I know a lot of you guys are wondering where I am in the Deadpool Epic Quest. I actually completed that a couple days ago, and I've been meaning to give you guys some Deadpool gameplay, but I've been being a little bit selfish i've been having fun with him off screen and eventually i'll show you guys some gameplay with him but for now let's just have some fun with psylocke let's do it boys and i know a lot of you guys are wondering oh my goodness i love you i love you wanda forgive me but i love me some betsy all right so i know a lot of you guys are wondering what happens after you finish the quest if you didn't have um psylocke along the way and i'll show you guys that right now i believe everything should get sent to your inventory if not we can just easily go back if this thing would bloody load okay so nothing got sent to my inventory okay cool so you can probably just go back here in the epic quest story yeah and you can just acquire everything individually just like you did for the magneto deluxe package i was kind of hoping they would change it and make it so that as soon as you buy it everything just gets sent to your inventory so you don't have to go back and collect it individually because that's kind of lame because you got to do it one at a time there's no acquire all button but let's see how many bios we get i know i get some crystals back so that's cool too so it's just kind of lame that basically you have to come here and click it individually just to have it get sent to your inventory why not just send it to my inventory but i guess if there's some things that you don't want to collect because immediately after they get sent to your inventory i believe an expiry date gets put on it right so you could just leave like the crystals the macron shards and the crystals here and that way they'll never expire but for me i'm just gonna claim everything once i get them sent to my inventory So we're going to be here for a little while. I might edit this part out just to not make this video super long because we still have to build her. I'm going to roll for an ISO set and test her out in this video. So apologies in advance if this one ends up being a little bit on the longer side. So what we get 1500 crystals back. Nice, nice. I'm going to have to spend some of those crystals because i have to pull a ctp off a character to give it to my deadpool because i'm not buying a ctp chest not doing it and my deadpool definitely has to have a ctp i have oh blade i see you too bro <laughs> uh so yeah my deadpool absolutely has to have a ctp i have a couple really good obelisks for him with 200 percent damage procs but i just want a ctp for him like there's no character in this bloody game that is more deserving of a ctp than my deadpool even though i know a lot of you guys are mad that winter soldier is still a little bit stronger than him even when he's at tier three but it is what it is i love deadpool regardless of whether or not he is the beyond end all type character that we all wanted him to be so let's actually go pick up betsy where you at baby where you at my girl and in case you guys are wondering, these are the characters that I don't currently have. I know a lot of people always ask me which characters I don't have. I don't have Adam Warlock and I don't see myself buying him anytime soon. Simply because outside of PvP, he's not really that good of a character to me anyways. Although I like him. So let me actually just go ahead. Do I have any rank up tickets? Well, not rank up tickets. I mean masteries. Oh yeah, I got to level her up, don't I? Okay, let me just... I'm going to get this. I'm going to max it. And then I'm going to take, I believe it only takes about 1900 to get her completely maxed out. Okay, so we're going to go 1900 exactly. Actually, we'll go a little bit less. We'll go 1800. Level 5 chips and see what happens. Should be level 6. No? Jeez. Just short. Yeah, so I think it was 1900 that I needed. Let me see. Yeah, it was 1900. Okay, let's go with 80. Nope. <laughs> I'm just trying to be stingy with my XP chips. Yeah, okay, whatever. We'll just throw some level ones in there. 
All right, so she's at level 60. Nice, nice, nice. And let's actually max out all her skills because y'all already know me, guys. All my skills have to be maxed for all my characters, especially ones I like. I don't even think twice, even though I don't really see myself using her two skill very much, to be honest with you guys. I'm probably just going to go something like five into three into four and then maybe into one because I love the freaking one. The butterflies. Okay, anyways, I, I'm not going to even start yet. I'm not going to start, guys. Uh, I'm not even going to start. I love the butterflies, man. Like, seriously. And uh, my control. I didn't even realize that she had dodge. Wow. Okay. All right. So next is her gears. Hold up. Let me check my stats right quick. All right. So I'm going to need a good amount of critical damage on her. I'm going to need skill cooldown. I'm going to need a little bit of ignore defense. Attack speed is actually decent right off the bat. And critical rate is kind of low. Let me see what she has here. Hmm. What does she get in the other... Let me see something. Okay. All defense, HP. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to change this to skill cooldown because she doesn't get it natively. Let's see, oh, there we go, nice, nice. And pro tip for you guys, always check your character stats while their gear is at plus five because it costs less, right? Don't wait until you get their gears to 15, 20, worst case 25, and then try to roll because you're gonna burn through a whole lot of gold that way, okay? So for me, when I'm building my characters and I'm gonna roll their fourth gear slot, I always check in advance and then roll it before I actually advance it, okay? And let me not actually say that and make sure, yeah, okay, so yeah, skill cooldown is definitely what she's gonna need. And then we can start upgrading it. But first, I know I should probably not do this, but I'm gonna master her using Macron shards simply because I just got some back. I should share it with the boys, you know? Uh, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share the next ones with the guys, man, you know what I mean? For the love, guys. There we go. For that rank up event. There we go. Already shared it. I think I have a five star mastery, so I'll, for the next one, I'll use that because I think I have like five of those actually. Yeah, I'll use that. Even though her leadership is just pure trash. Well, I guess I said, uh, it's, it's, it's trash. Honestly, it's trash. I would have loved a 50% increase of mind damage. That would have just been, I guess that would have been too insane. But whatever, I didn't share that last one, but I'm going to keep them in the dark there. Okay, now, seriously, I've been planning for Psylocke for a long time. And because of that, I actually have a ton, I kid you guys not, a ton of six star Obelisks. I don't even know if that's how you say it. Obelisks. Okay. But anyways, the best I've gotten so far is actually this one right here. But I want double mind damage with a 200% damage proc. And nothing less will suffice. I will not stop rolling until I get one. But I think I'll give her this as a temporary. I also have a five star down here. This one's pretty good. Like if this was a 180 proc, guys, that would be legit. But I want ideally... 40, 30 to 40 percent for both. So totally, I want to give her like 70 percent mind damage from her obelisk, and then a 200 percent damage proc, so I can melt face with her. Let me hit that favorite right quick, baby. Okay, now this is where I'm gonna get like really, really screwed. I'm probably gonna have to edit this part out because this is probably gonna take two hours. Binary power is not gonna do. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I was not expecting that. I was not like guys, it took me 35 million gold to get overdrive for my Deadpool. Like RNG man. I guess like Thanos says, man, we need balance. We need balance. Okay, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna give her do I really want to give her a fully awakened one? Yes, I do. Let me just check something right quick. Okay, I'm not insane. Okay, cool. Let me max out these gears first. Oh, we got 400. 
Listen, I'm not trying. I'm not even trying to stunt not her, guys. You, you, y'all already have Psylocke. Y'all already be melting face. You know, making me jealous and shit, guys. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to catch up. Y'all already winning. Oh, nice. She gets ignore defense. Let me see something right quick. So 41% ignore defense, 151 for critical damage. Attack speed went up a little bit too. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to fix my card really, really soon. I wonder if this 400 is enough to, you know what? I'm not going to jinx it. First things first, let's equip this ISO set. And we're gonna give her, this is pretty low. I'm kind of sad, but whatever. Oh yeah, I gotta give her another one, right? All right. Let's go with, this one has to be awakened pretty soon. And all defense, you're getting that, you're getting that baby. All right, really, energy? I wonder if I can change options. Let's see if I can change the options to all defense. Please be all defense, please. Oh, for any of you guys who didn't know, you can do this, okay? You can always change the options to something else yes okay i know some of you guys probably didn't know about that but if you have really crappy stats on like some of like let's say like for example mm, what's really crappy here like this for example if you have a crit rate freaking iso and it's like half awakened don't use it to like awaken something else because the stats are crappy just fully awaken it and then just re-roll it and change the options and sometimes you will get really really lucky and you'll get all attack and all defense or you'll get like physical attack or energy attack and all defense okay so for any of you guys who are new if you ever end up getting like chaotic iso or any iso besides nimble and hp or critical rate because well critical rate you can't really change to anything else but if you get any of the other ones and they have really crappy stats or low values you can then go ahead and just fully awaken it and change it and hopefully you get a better option later on okay so yeah not really the purpose of the video but whenever i think of stuff i like to share it with you guys let me actually go ahead and drop this in and damn it okay i don't even care i'm going all in guys i'm going all in okay now okay energy attack i would have wanted all attack for more stats overall but ooh, ooh, ooh okay what's my baby looking like what's the what's the percent value on that so 32 guys i'm definitely gonna fully awaken this and you know i'm kind of mad at myself right now because in hindsight i'm giving betsy more love on her iso set that i did for wanda shame on me shame on me because my wanda her iso set is actually still not even fully awakened i know that's this is not this is not the purpose of the video but Listen, like I said, man, it might end up being a little bit on the longer side. Where are you, Wanda? She's right here. Where's her eyes? Like, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Like, figure it out, okay? Anyways, let me go ahead and start on these gears. One, okay. Nice. Keep it on the five. Keep it on the five. Three, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna try it one more time and then we're gonna swap to a different gear. See if we can, oh jeez. Okay, note to self, note to self. After three good rolls, switch to a different gear. Keep the luck rolling, keep the luck rolling, let's go. Big money, big money, no whammy, let's go. Can't believe that was times 20. Come on, see. Am I going to take my own advice here? Or am I going to live dangerously? I'm going to do it for you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what? We're going to do it again. We're going to do it one more time. Let's go. Wow. Times 20. Yep. 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 All right. I still think we have enough bios though. 400. If 400 bios is not enough to max at our gears, I'm actually going to be really, really mad. Like really, really mad. But I'm pretty sure you can farm her bios from her deluxe package similar to what you can from Magneto. Otherwise, I'm going to be pissed off. Let me try one more time. 15. That's not completely terrible. But just to share myself, 
Yeah, just to save myself some pain, I'm gonna switch gears. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, I definitely think we have enough to max her out. And probably get her to tier 2. Actually, no. Because I think she costs... 300? No, actually, it's been a while since I've tier 2 the character without a ticket. I think it's 150. Yeah, we won't have enough. We definitely won't have enough. 20. Yep. We definitely don't have enough. So, we're going to try her out in our new mission. See what that's like. And after... Oh, come on. Please don't tell me we don't have enough. Oh my goodness, we actually don't have enough to finish her gears. Because it's going to be times 25, isn't it? Oh! 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 Okay! I rock with that, so we definitely got to finish. But how many extra bios do we have? 29. So it took 271 bios. Actually, what am I saying? 371. God damn. God damn. Okay. And we're definitely not going to tier 2 her natively because, yeah, I got beer tickets. And, all right. So, we're not going to put the obelisk on her just yet. I want to see if I can play around with her without it and see how she does. Is there anything I missed? Let me see her overall stats. So, I'm definitely going to need some critical damage urus and definitely some critical rate. But I think even with 48% reduced cooldown duration, I should be fine. Am I over in ignoring defense? Let me see something. No, I'm actually just where I need to be. Wow. All right, guys. So first things first, let's jump into Deadpool's epic quest right here and see what the deluxe mission is. Okay, so it definitely drops her bios. And I forgot. I need... Oh, yeah, I definitely got to freaking finish off Phantom X. I keep forgetting about this guy. Let me actually... Drop her on the team. Where's Phantom X? I gotta put this guy at the top so I can find him. I know some of you guys want to see gameplay on him. It will be coming really soon. I've just been slacking on him because I like Domino more. Even though he is definitely a little bit better than Domino in my book. But I've just been slacking on him. Let's throw Deadpool on the team there for shits and giggles. And let's do it. Are we going to fight Psylocke? Oh, nice. Colossus Shifter. So for those of you guys who wanted to know, now you know. Colossus does drop as a shifter for the deluxe package. But he also drops as a shifter in um, Stupid X-Men. Because I've gotten him there before. Oh, my goodness. The close-up. Oh, my goodness. My heart, guys. My, my heart. Love it. Damn, 11. Okay, so basically the same kind of drop rate as Magneto. I'm gonna run it one more time and then we're gonna jump into something a little bit more challenging. I wonder if Colossus drops every time. Jeez, my girls are savage. Savage mode, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm sorry, Wanda, I'm sorry. You're still number one. But you, know, you got competition now, girl. All right. So I want to check something really, really quickly. Now, under normal circumstances, you should ideally not be ever bringing tier one characters in World Boss Ultimate. But I want to see if Psylocke is good enough without any kind of leadership or strikers to actually complete a stage. Because I've been hearing so many good things about her. And I just want to see it for myself. Now, I don't even know how to play her properly yet. But we're going to learn together, guys. Okay, I think 10 might have been overzealous. Yeah, I think 10 is a little bit too much. Because she's not really doing that much damage so let's drop this down to like five let's see what happens on five come on now i think i would definitely need a damage proc if 
and some leadership to actually complete this. Well, let's try, let's see what happens. Yeah, definitely not without leadership. All right, let's try something else. Let's throw Anti-Man in the lead, put Coulson in here and see what happens. Where's Coulson? Let's not use any kind of ridiculous strikers. I'll just use physical strikers that are not gonna do anything and see what happens. I just want the attack buff. Ah, uh, Magneto's energy. Who else can we put? I'll put Blue Marvel. And there we go. All right. Let's see how much of a difference it, okay. Having the Strikers and Coulson definitely makes a difference. Yeah, see, the numbers are definitely racking up now. Oh, damn. Yeah, she can definitely complete this. Even at tier 1. Oh my goodness, this girl's a savage. Hold up. So even when enemies iframe her in her fifth, she doesn't come out of her iframe? Wow. You gotta be kidding me. This girl's a beast. <laughs> Yo. Are you, are you kidding me? Okay. I'm not even trying to complete this with her. I just wanted to see if she could do it. And that's actually insane. Let me actually go test her in Shadowland real quick, guys. I know this one's been a little bit on the longer side. But I just want to experiment with her a little bit. And then I'll send you guys on your way, man. Where is she? Let's go. Let's see how she does here. see how fast she does this let's go can we one shot these guys oh no they, they turned against each other <laughs> that was actually oh my god the butterflies guys it gets me every time the butterflies the butterflies <laughs> oh my goodness the range on that too is actually insane they just turned against each other it's over it's actually over oh my goodness you're dead jesus Oh my goodness, my girl's a beast. Where is she? What the? <laughs> Are you guys seeing this, man? Where is Silock, guys? All we're seeing right now is the floor because that's all the enemies saw. Like, is this the vision of what happens when you mess with Silock? It's just your head laying on the floor, and that's all you see. Oh my goodness. Anyways. This is all I have to share for today, guys. Just wanted to give you guys a first look and just want to take you guys through my build for Psylocke. More coming very, very soon, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.